We are tired. We are looking so freaking tired. Oh my gosh. Exam season is hitting us. Welcome to the second part. My name is Skyla and today we are talking about a few manga titles I've purchased the past month in January. A short disclaimer, um, most of them are BLs aka boys love titles. Consider yourself as warned, I won't show any um, explicit scenes or anything if they are in those titles. So the first title we are talking about is Two Sides of the Same Coin. Um, it's a duology by Ho Nishimoto and it's mainly about um, Yuji who is a university student and the, even though his familiar background is a little bit, well, it's not the greatest. Um, he gets to know cool that other even and uh, they start to have an affair. However, things get a little bit interesting, <laughs> I want to say like that, after they figure out a lot of secrets which have been kept mainly from Yuji. It got me quite surprised at some points, <laughs> I'll, be, I'll admit that, and yes, I've read them already um, because I couldn't really wait to get into the story because I was really drawn to the art style and also because I saw somebody I follow on my personal account talking about the, about the series, so voila. The next part um, in my co new collection is Inked by Miko Noichi and I hope I say the name right. It's also another BL. As I said, almost 80 to 90 percent are BLs. Bear with me. Sina is a well-known tattoo artist in his town and one day he gets a customer who has not really an idea what they want to get as a tattoo and said to him that he, the artist, should decide on what they got as their next art imprinted on their skin. What Sina doesn't know is that <laughs> this stranger is actually in contact with his brother who he was trying to get away from. It is really interesting to talk about um, or to have a manga themed with tattoos. I have some know um, Tattoos are actually getting much more popular in Japan and even though some older people are still frowning upon the ink under somebody's skin, it is slightly becoming much more, yeah, much more tolerated I would even say in Japan and I guess also other countries but I cannot say for certain. And yeah, this is also why I picked that up. Cook, cook. <laughs> so, this is another title I have from Natsuki Kizu. Um, the other title is Given, which is an ongoing series. I've read at least twice now. Or thrice, maybe. But this here is a short story collection. Um, focusing on four couples who are facing different issues in their relationships and how they tackle fate and everything, how things are working out or maybe not working out. And I have not read it yet, I just say that much, but I really love the art style of Nazuki and also how this artist is um, focusing on stories. Given gave me literal tears when I was reading it. But this one here is going to be interesting. Also, the theme is rather winter to Christmas. So, I might still read it now um, before winter is really coming to an end. Yeah. So, and last but not least are Volume 6 and Volume 7 of My Roommate's Cat. Um, it is a series which is ongoing. It's by Minatsuki and as 
Huda Tsuya. I hope I say your name right. <laughs> and the story is focusing on an author um, named Subaru who is not really particularly fond of socializing and rather yeah, likes it calm in his life. However, but that other day he a cat stumbles upon his front porch and he takes the cat in and this is basically how their friendship starts. What is really interesting about the story is that it's focusing not just on Subaru's point of view but you also get the, the view from Haru who is the cat. It's such a sweet story, it's also a little bit funny um, here and there simply because of a miscommunication between a cat and a human. So it's really lovely, um, I recommend reading that. So this is it to sum up the manga section for this part and I hope I see you again in part 3, the final part and probably the longest. So bye bye!